Hi, it's Claire Fielder here from the Virtual Nudge and um, yesterday I created a pay what you want PayPal button and a few people asked me how I did that so I'm just taking you through the steps I took to create one. So I tried to find the size of the button and I couldn't find one. So I just used this program called cooltext.com. As you can see here we have lots of um, crazy buttons going on. I just picked a really simple one to use and you just type in pay what you want and we can see that that looks uh, a little strange that little font to me doesn't look as nice as I want to have it so just click into here change again so the one thing I said with um, collect um, selecting fonts try not to collect, um, select one of these light fonts here try and one, choose one with a bit more heavier, a bit looks like it may be in bold, etc. Just makes it stand out nicer on the button for you. So obviously you can go through all these different elements of the button there for you. Ah, the size of the button is 150 by 30. I now know that. That's great. Um, so there's lots of different elements you can play with to your heart's content. So once you've done all that, awesome, you have created a button. So we just go to there and we click on download image so hopefully that would download oops clicked on the wrong thing there download image and it's downloading awesome so next we need to put that into our WordPress site um, so just go into your media so what your WordPress might look um, dashboard might look a little bit different but just click on media library and then add new um, basically we're just going to attach that file, so select, find that file, just add, crunch away, awesome. Right, so now we need to click on this edit button because you need to grab a URL to put into PayPal. So we've created our button which is great and now we've uploaded it to um, our WordPress site. Now you can see here it says file URL, so let's just grab that information, control C, and we're going to hop over to PayPal. So when you come into PayPal, you'll probably see down here something that says business setup, um, and you'll see a screen like this, come into create your own button. I'm sure you probably know how to do this, but just to walk you through it, create button now. Um, we have lots of different options for us, but we're just going to stay with the buy now one. So let's just put a, yeah, so suggested at ten um, dollars there so this is a bit where it's a little bit different you just put in zero zero dot zero and obviously change your currency as you so wish to come down here and just click on this radio button instead we then just highlight that text that we just um, took from our WordPress site so we just go from a PayPal button to use your own image button and basically we're done Obviously, if you need to put in the extra information there, that's great. And then just create button, and we should get a nice, lovely piece of code. Awesome. So we then just select code, control C. So now, if we go back into our WordPress site, we go into our pages. Um, I'm going to find a page for you. Um, so it's currently live, but. Um, nobody's really directed there yet, it's a new service I'm offering so we can play around with it and not worry about messing things up. So you usually come in to um, the page here, kind of looks fine and dandy, we're on our visual tab here. If we now click on our text tab, this is where all the code is. Basically we're just going to scoot down all the way to the bottom and control V and we've just copied and pasted that text from our PayPal button there. Let's press update and then once that updated it's a little slow <laughs> and just go into preview changes and we should be able to see fingers crossed it's taking a little time do a little chair dance I was thinking about it there we go so we can see the site coming up there and we scroll down all way to the bottom and awesome our 
button is there. If you just click onto that, and we'll just follow through the rest of the process so we can see what the clients see. And here, just one note here. So this label um, obviously has so many characters. Um, that's pretty obvious there. But just remember, if you are making a suggestion minimum, that to make sure that that is visible when people come into this area here. So then people can just change it to the turn, update that, and obviously pay as they so wish to. Awesome stuff. Hopefully that was pretty easy to understand. If you have any questions, then do let me know. Um, and if you want to connect with me, as I said, my name's Claire Field, and I'm from the Virtual Nudge. And it'd just be great to chat and hang out. So um, there you go. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.